Hey Country Boy Mining Fans, how you doing today? We're going to be doing two mods today. They're both by GearWrench Modding and Edits. Um, they're pretty detailed mods. I've already kind of taken a quick glance at them. Um, but I didn't go into detail because I do want to kind of be a little bit surprised um, when I look at them. Um, I hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you will see any and all upcoming videos. So, without further ado, we are going to be checking out a 1966 K10 and a 2022 Ram 3500 Limited, both by Garrett's Modding and Edits. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as usual, we're going to go ahead and jump right in with a vanilla game so that we, anything that is on our save does not affect it. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. And... Uh, okay, so we do have a warning here. It's for um, characters, but this is not an issue, and I'll explain why. Um, Mark made it so that way you, you will be able to take some fancy screenshots with your vehicle. Um, and with doing that, he made it so that way you can either hide your character or have the character showing so that way you would be able to, um, take some really cool, um, photo shots, photos with it. Um, and this pertains to both mods, that's why there's a couple of errors. Uh, couple of warnings for both different mods um, and then I understand it doesn't explain um, that it's for this mod or that mod but that's what those are and I did check that is literally the only areas I see in either of the mods so we're not gonna go any further in depth with that we're just gonna go check out the mods right away all right so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go in here we're going to go to our mods and we're going to check out the OCC division oh diesel division customs now I do know this is also by uh, Mark from gear wrench modding and edits so I believe that's one of his other groups so uh, but don't quote me on that um, and both of these mods are um, private versions but there will be um, public versions being released but they will be downgraded just a little bit so just as a forewarning these are not exactly the mods that you will be getting once they're released to the public um, if you want any further details you're more than welcome to uh, message mark I will leave a link in the description for his modding group and I will also leave his name in that description so without further ado, let's jump into the first one. And I think I chose the wrong one, but that's okay. Alright, we have a 1966 Chevy K10. Alright, first off, what do we have? We have beds. We have a long bed version. We have a short bed version. We have a step side version. We also have a flat bed version. We have a flatbed with diamond plate. And then back to the long bed. I think for this video, we're going to go step side. Let's see. What do we got here? So we got front bumper and headlights. Got stock headlights. Stock headlights with custom bumper. 
Then we have LED headlights and stock bumper. Then we have LED lights and custom bumper. Stock headlights and bumper. Uh, I think we're going to stick with that. Whoops. Um, let's see, interior upgrades. Now I know there's a ton and ton and ton and ton and ton of different um, things here. Unfortunately, you can't see all of them. So we're going to try and view as much of it as we can. Um, I can't guarantee you I will catch everything. So we have bench seat and classic radio. Oops, let's try this. So there's the bench seat. And... There is the classic radio. Then if we go to bench seat and JVL audio system, it looks like there's a custom radio in there. Hard to tell. Then we have bucket seats and classic radio. Bucket seats and JVL auto system, audio system, pardon me. And we got bucket seats there. Looks like we got an amplifier on the back wall there. So I would assume in the bench seat version there's probably a, a um, amplifier behind the seat, but of course you can't see it. So then we got bucket seats and classic radio with a console. Bucket seats, JBL audio, and a console. And then back to the bench seat and classic radio. We're going to go ahead and go with the bucket seats, the JBL audio, and the console. What the heck? Let's go all out with it. All right. So we got ranch and home supply. Okay, so I see an antenna pop up back here. I see... Looks like an AR-15 in the back window. Oh, it's a TX-15, sorry. We got TGIF. What does TGIF give us? Oh, there's a box in the front seat. It looks like some... Looks like some wobble pops. So let's go ahead and just call it that. So that way we don't have any YouTube issues. Alright, we have the TX-15 and the CB, TX-15 and the Wobble Pops, TX-15 with Suppressor, TX-15 with the CB and Gun and Suppressor. Let's see, do we got an option with the Wobble Pops too? Heck yeah, let's go all out. Alright, that should give us the Wobble Pops. The TX-15, and the CB. Yup. Alright. So, let's go with the bed. What do we got here for bed? Bed finishes. We got a weathered, a cherry wood. We have an oak. We have a painted metal. We have a weathered. Oops, that brings us back to the original one, didn't it? I think we're going to go with oak. Let's see. Shaved trim options. So, I'm assuming this is going to be exterior trim. So, let's see. We got shaved handles and mirrors. We got shaved trim. We got shaved exterior mirrors. We got a shaved rear window, rear view mirror, pardon me. We got shaved all mirrors, shaved bed trim. Uh, oh, that's the Chevy emblem, Chevy emblem. That's, okay, that's pretty cool. And hold on one second here, I'll show you what that was. Um, the shaved handles and trim, shaved all, we got stock, there we go, the Chevy sign right there, nope, shaved all doesn't do that, okay, then what in the world's a bed trim, 
Oh. That would be the, um, tailgate, um, uh, straps here. Okay. So we're going to go with stock. Let's leave it full, full on. Bed accessories we have. Cam locker toolbox. Back rack. Cam locker toolbox and back rack. None. Let's go with just the toolbox. What the heck. Alright. Steps we have. Amp electric steps. HD electric steps. Some old time running boards. However, this isn't exactly what I would expect for this year's truck, but that may not be what he was going for. So we um, definitely won't discount that. We got two steps. We have none. I think just because, let's, let's make it a little fancy. We'll go with it. Amp electric steps. All right, lights. I'm assuming this is going to be the front. Whoops, sorry. LED cab and light bar. Back rack. Okay, we didn't get the back rack. Um, bumper top. LCH bar. Hmm. Not sure what that is. And I do know Mark is one of our subscribers, so he is more than welcome to um, comment in the comments below and let us know um, what it is on anything that I missed or overlooked. Um, we're going to go with none on this just because, I don't know, I like a classic truck to look like an original classic truck for the most part. All right, attachers. So that's going to be in the back here. For sure. Whoops. Just can't get it to quite work with me here. Alright. So we have gooseneck and adjustable drop. Gooseneck and adjustable plow. Oh, gooseneck adjustable and plow. I'm sorry. Gooseneck and Bulletproof Hitch. Gooseneck, Bulletproof, and Plow Mount. Let's, darn it, I forgot to put a Plow Mount in this time. I'm going to assume that it works, but I guess we'll see. Alright, for engines, what do we got here? see if it changes with the selection we got a 235 CID in line six cylinder which gives you 187 horsepower we have a 350 four barrel four speed manual that gives you 327 horsepower and it definitely does give you a Chevy 350 that is pretty slick we have a 350 V8 four barrel Turbo 450 automatic, which gives you 615 horsepower. We have a 350 V8 EFI four speed manual. Oh, wow. And it gives you a completely different motor with that as well. That, okay, now that is pretty cool. All right, and that one is at 517 horsepower. <clears throat> We have a 350 V8 EFI Turbo 400 automatic that gives you 517 horsepower. And then we have a EFI 4 speed intake option 2, which gives you also 517 horsepower. And then a 350 EFI uh, Turbo 450 with auto intake, and it also gives you 450 horsepower. Or, sorry, 517 horsepower. Then we have a 350 EFI 4-speed RoboFab intake, which gives you 
also 517 horsepower. And then also the same thing with a automatic as well. Let's go with the standard. Um, let's see, invisible character. This is what I was talking about. He made it so that way you can want to take some cool screenshots and be able to not have your character in the truck. You are able to do so. Um, he, he also inc incorporated that with um, his license plates. Um, this is part of the part that I looked at, so I am somewhat familiar with it. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with it, but you have a few selections of different license plates here. Um, I believe it's two. Um, and one's with character and one's without. Um, so then wheel set up. What do we got here? We got some Chevy Rallies on stock tires. Got Chevy Rally 31s on stock tires. Chevy Rallies on little uh, road graphs. Um, 31 inch Chevy rims with little road graphs. Then we got 33 inch Rally stock tires. 33 inch rallies with nittos. 33 inch Chevy rims with nittos. 35 inch rally BFGs. Holy smokes, Mark. 35 inch rallies with interface or interco TS, TL, TSLs. Pardon me. Then we have a 35 inch with BFGs. We have a 35-inch Fuel Maverick with Nitto road wraps, a 35-inch Fuel Maverick with BFGs, a 35-inch Fuel Maverick with Intercos. Wow, I, I, as much as I'd hate to say this, there's just so many selections of wheels, I'm not going to go through all of them, um, but we went from 33s to now in 38s. Pretty much the same wheel selection in each option. Um, just with bigger tires. Uh, holy smokes, we're up to 46s. How big did you go, Mark? Okay, 46s are as high as you want. Wow. I think just because, let's go big, and let's go right here. Oops, almost bought it. Now what I want to do. Alright, let's go, let's go with a black. And... Let's go with the red. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Trim color, we're going to leave it as chrome. Design color. Oh, that's... Huh, what is that? Let's find out. Let's turn to some funky color. That'll let us know. Oh, that would be a suspension. Um... Let's coincide that by going red. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Rim colors. Uh, let's try chrome dull. What's that look like? Hmm. Um, Let's go with the chrome doll. Alright, license plate, we're not going to mess with that.
Alright, what do we got here? Open tailgate. Okay. Oh, nice animation, Mark. Okay, we have close cover. What does that do? Oh, that's the hood. Oh, and the light goes out when you close the hood. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's see here. We got rotate. Okay, Mark. That's, that's, that's just insane. Uh, there's our hitch with the up and down. Okay, I'm not sure what this one does. I got the door. I'm not sure what this bottom extend front loader arm tool does. Um, so let's see. Okay, that makes the windows go down. Does it make both of them go down? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Check out this engine a little bit more. Might have to get out to do this. Hmm. I can't tell if it's animated, but if it is, that's pretty cool. I do see shaking, so that's still pretty cool. Alright, let's get us a couple of trailers here. Um, and we'll test that out. Though it may be too high to try out the... Snack, but we'll find out. Alright, let's close these doors as soon as I figure out how again. Oh wow, and it's even got a sound with it too. That's pretty cool. too far. I think I'm going to leave it at that and assume the fifth wheel works because well, somebody this new into the community and all this works and all this detail, um, I, I, I would almost just have to assume that it works. Mark, 
in this case, we're going to give you a 10 out of 10 because this is a absolutely impressive detailed mod and very, very um, functional as far as everything working, as far as um, the errors. I love the detail that you made it so that way you can have the character and not have the character for photos. That is pretty doggone slick. So, let's go and get our second truck. Alright, our second truck is this one. Which is a 2020 Ram 3500 Dually Limited. Um, so, what do we have for options here? We got a Dually, we got a flatbed. We got a flatbed and fenders. And then back to the dually. We'll leave it as a dually for right now. Um, hoods. We got a stock hood. A racing ram hood. Kind of hard to see. Okay. And then stock hood, back to stock hood. Okay, let's leave it that. We're gonna go, let's see, whoops. We got OEM bumpers, OEM and Warren Winch. We got a custom fab CF01 stock, or er, stock rear bumper. Um, custom fab. CFD front and rear, custom fab CFO2 uh, with the stock rear, CFO2 with the with a CFO1 rear, custom fab CFO2 plus bull bar, CFO2 or oh I'm sorry that's an OZ I apologize. Um, CFO3, CFO3 with a CFO1 in the rear, might be an OI. Um, we're going to go ahead and stay with stock. Grill options, we have, of course, stock grill. We have a custom RC grill. We have a racing ram grill. Let's go with the racing ram grill. Give me one second. Let me mute my phone, please. Sorry about that. Though I might be getting things to connect in through my computer as well. I apologize. Um, I should have um, muted that or turned it off, and I didn't. Um, so we have... Let's see, Raging Ram Grill, we're going to stay with that. Grill Guard, Ranch, we have Ranch Hand and none. I don't really like the Ranch Hands on trucks, it's just my personal opinion. Let's see, steps we have. Rock Sliders, we have Amp Electric Steps, we have Tube Steps. We have factory folding steps. We have HC electric steps. We have rally steps. And none. Let's go with the amp electric steps. With the bed options, we have a back rack, cam locker toolbox, a back rack and cam locker toolbox. None. Let's go. Let's go with none. Alright, track bars, we have OEM fronts only, aftermarket fronts, we have aftermarket rears, aftermarket front and rears, then back to OEM fronts, let's do aftermarket front and rears, what the heck, whoops, almost skipped attachers, alright. We have gooseneck and adjustable drop hitch. 
We have gooseneck and adjustable plow. We have bulletproof hitch and a gooseneck. We have gooseneck, bulletproof, and plow mount, and then a nut. So we'll go with the bulletproof and plow mount. Um, engine setup we have stock Cummins 6.7 liter that gives you 370 horsepower. We have a Cummins 6.7 liter HO, which gives you 470 horsepower. We have a Cummins 6.7 liter HD Plus tuner, which gives you 770 horsepower. Then we have Beast Mode, which yields you 1,000 horsepower. Um, let's go with this one with the tuner, and then we'll look when we... Um, get into uh, the mod outside of the shop and see if it has um, a tuner actually in the cab. That would be pretty cool. Alright, visible character. Visible character. Okay, we're just gonna let's go with visible character. Uh, we got stock duels. Ram duels, duels on Nitto Graps. We have racing ram wheels. We have fuel mavericks. Tiz S440 D's. Fuel F FF 410s. GX Forged. GTX Forged, sorry. American Forces. Uh, 33 inch ram duels. 33-inch Ram Nittos, 33-inch Racing Ram Wheels, Holy Smokes Mark, 35-inch Fuel Mavericks, 35-inch Tiz S440s, 35-inch Fuel F441Ds, 35-inch GTX Force, 35-inch American Force, 38-inch Ram Racing Wheels, Holy Smokes Mark, did you do all this again? Alright, we're just going to see how high it goes again because they're all the same rims with just bigger versions of the tires. Holy smokes. We'll see how high this one goes. Okay, this one only goes up to 40s. Alright. Let's go... Let's go with these. On 40s, it shouldn't be too high for the, um... Shouldn't be too high for the gooseneck, but we'll see. Alright, open tailgate. We gotta check the trailers first. And of course it connects. Let's close tailgate up here. Oh. And that connects. All right, so let's see. Open cover that does the mirrors. Oh, and one thing we're going to go back and check on the 66 real quick. Um, let's do it before we forget. Is we're just going to double check the. Ooh. We're just going to double check to make sure the lights work. I assume they do, but. We have brake lights. We have church signals on the front, church signals on the back. We 
We have marker lights. Marker lights in the rear. Headlights. High beams. Uh, I assume... I can see an extra light back here. I assume that's for if you had one of the work light type or uh, light bars on the back, but it doesn't have it. Um, it's kind of an awkward thing to code, so it's an easy mistake. I, I'm gonna, not going to document anything for it. We're still going to stick with our. Oh, and the ramps come down when you exit. Okay. Do they do that in here? Oh, yes, they do. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, we're still going to stick with the uh, 10 out of 10 on the score on that other truck. That's still pretty cool. Alright, we have front doors that open. Okay, what's this other dealio do? Okay, it's just the Hitch. Back door is open. Okay. And then, what does this do? Oh, you can adjust the amp steps up or down. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I did something that broke them. Okay, they're working again. Um, tailgate we know works. Um, hood opens. Okay. Alright, Mark, now you're just showing off. That's pretty cool. As if the truck wasn't already tall enough. Alright, let's do a light check here. We got parking lights all the way around. Tiny bit dim in the back, but sometimes that's a little hard to do with the uh, way textures. Or, pardon me, um, the Albedo maps work, so we're not going to knock that. I'm sure at night it's plenty bright. We have high beams. We have marker lights on the cab. We have fog lights, it looks like. We have turn signals. All right, let's check the interior. Oh, and we sure do. We have the... Um, the tuner but it's doing something weird here i'm not sure why i don't know how it was set up um in ge or from blender so i can't say what the issue is with that um we also have turn signal noise as you can hear we got turn signals on the dash um very 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 beautiful interior very detailed out I want to give it a 10 out of 10 the only thing I see thus far that I would question about it is the tuner so Mark we're gonna give you a 9.5 all right, so with that, that's going to be it for the day, folks. Um, we had a 1966 Chevy K10 and a 2022 
Ram, um, 3500. Um, both are very immaculate trucks, very well done. Um, very extremely well done, to be honest. Um, so that's where we're going to leave you with. And y'all have a great day. And we hope to see you on the next one.